So the last piece to my puzzle finally came in today. I've been waiting for it for over two weeks. Uh, the first company that I used, uh, MB Graham, is who I ordered it from. They're the cheapest online. Uh, $629 for this package. And uh, unfortunately, even after a week and a half of waiting, I never got the shipping confirmation, so I went ahead and canceled the order. And uh, without even hesitating, I, I called my bank to say, hey, uh, I want to open a dispute just to make sure I get my money back. I, I just did not trust the company because I didn't know much about them. So, then from there, after that went, I uh, contacted a different company. They had it. It was $100 more. But they had one in stock. And from here, it looks like this says it came directly from Holly. And I did not order it from Holly, even though it's a Holly part. I ordered it from, like, MA Performance online. So, yeah. No idea how this thing opens. I'm just going to rip it. So I'm, I'm to the point now where I am pretty much done messing with all the small stuff on the truck. Alrighty, so mounting bracket doesn't really apply to me. I bought the dash that fits the S10. Uh, quick start guide, I'm assuming how to wire everything up. The unit itself. Looks like we have some already pre-attached wires. And I'm gonna have to take this plate off in order to put in my IO plates. The GPS I bought just goes straight into the USB drive. And it just comes with some uh, some basic stuff. Okay. Time to go wire it up. Alright, here's the adapter I was talking about that I had to use to space the top filter about a half inch higher because of my bracket here. Uh, I do have to... Oh. I found a set of plugs that works low ohms made by MSD. They weren't as much as I thought they were going to be. They were about $115. I got my brake booster finally hooked up, going to the back of the back of the fuel injection. I do have to hook my PVC valve up yet. And I'm actually working on my trans cooler lines. And if you see here, the radiator actually has pipe fittings that goes in, that's what, how they secured it. So I had to use a pipe fitting to AN adapter on both top and bottom, and I used AN fittings coming out of the transmission. And then what I'm gonna do is, I just used Russell AN fittings, and I'm gonna build my lines that way, instead of using, uh, or instead of making my own hard line, I'm just gonna use the braided line. Alright, so I changed up my fittings on the transmission itself to the AN adapters. So now I'm going to go ahead and create my lines to go from the transmission to the radiator.
So I ended up putting up this sniper. Just made a little bracket. I took wires underneath it. Kind of get out of the way. If I need to, I can weld a little side skirt on it so it doesn't look like it's height or it, so it doesn't look like there's wires under it. That's why I raised it up off a little bit. I also noticed that my puke tank that I put on in a couple videos ago is not going to fit with the battery box. So that had to come off and I'm going to put the battery box on first and possibly attach it to the side of the battery box. Don't know yet. That's still up in the air. And I'm still going to have to work on figuring out how to mount the coil. I'm thinking maybe like right here now, kind of tucked in, mounted down here so I can still shoot over to there. So. So I'm trying to bypass everything that has to do with the fuel and go straight to the sender and I'm looking at it and we got gray and we got purple uh, one is the instrument cluster and one goes to uh, the fuel pressure switch however I'm bypassing all of that because I'm connecting it straight into the Halle EFI so I found the gray wire but the purple wire looked like it goes to the transmission so I'm a little confused. Yeah, I'm a little confused. So, that being said, here's my wires. You see, nice thick gray wire there. So I'm that will tie into the uh, the EFI. I don't really see a purple in there, but I do see the purple. Where is it? In here which is the transmission plug, which I'm not using. So right there's the purple wire. So why would the purple wire be, wire be going into the transmission when it should be going into my instrument cluster? Unless it's not the right wire. So I don't wanna pull all the wires out if I can help it and trace it down, but it looks like that's what I'm gonna have to do. Better safe than sorry. So I got the battery in, and I tried to do my first crank, and it didn't want to turn over. All the lights came on the inside, nothing. So I tried putting in the computer. Tried to crank it again, nothing. And it dawned on me, I have to bypass the neutral safety switch, because I'm using a TH350 instead of the 4L60E. So now i got to figure out how to bypass the neutral safety switch. Two, three, and here we go. 